All right, so I know it's been a while since I've posted anything, but i um, been very busy, so I haven't really had time to work on the mini truck, but um, today I want to see if I could adjust the uh, toe on the front suspension. Uh, I noticed that once I had uh, changed the camber, it also affected the toe, and it seems to be more on the right side where um, it seems like the front wheel is kind of angling out. So um, I'm gonna take you through that st those steps to at least get it pretty close where um, uh, I, I don't get like this crazy tire noise and squealing every time I make a turn. Uh, the, um, the other thing to note too is I don't drive this on the highway. It's just to go around town. So uh, I'm not gonna be super precise I just want to get it as close as possible uh, with the tools I have. Okay, so let me show you what I rigged up. So basically, I um, put some bungee cords and I used some bungee cords to put a wood board across the wheel. I made sure that the wood board was uh, level. Um, it's right, I mounted it just below the center point of the, of the hub. So um, that'll be consistent on both sides. I just use that as a, uh, 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 I guess a, a point of origin. And then I uh, nailed, or I used some finishing nails to hold uh, tape measure in the front and one in the back. If we come around the other side. Um, what I do now is I basically take the tape measure and see what the measurement is at the front and basically you can see it's about 56 and a half inches and what the measurement is at the back and that one is 54 and a half so I have a two inch difference between uh, the front toe and the rear so and you could kind of tell on this wheel that it's angling out uh, I think on the left side it looks pretty straight visually I can't really tell uh, that much but it does look like it still has a little bit of toe out and uh, before you do this by the way you want to make sure you're on level ground and that your steering will straight so what I did is I drove it up and down the, the driveway a few times with the steering wheel straight just to make sure and you want to make sure that the car is not jacked up as well Okay, just want to show you underneath the car what it looks like so um, this here is your steering arm and this is a jam nut or lock nut um, basically what you do is you got to undo this so that you could then put a wrench on this part and by turning it um, like in this case if you turn it um, to the right you will bring the toe in if you turn it to the left you'll bring it out in this case we want to bring it in so I'm gonna undo this uh, jam nut on the other side and just basically uh, try to do what I do here mimic it on the other side until I have the same measurement at the front that 56 and a half and that 58 and a half should get pretty close or equal to each other Okay, just want to show you because I forgot to mention so there's also a jam nut at the back so if you don't undo both it just won't turn so I had to undo that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker uh, an ink marker and just mark where um, one of the sides so as I turn this I could kind of count how many times I'm turning it so that I could do the same thing on the other side um, and not lose my count Okay, so um, this wheel, which was visually the one that it was angling, towing out more this way, um, and where I thought was uh, going to be most of the uh, adjustment was going to come from. I was correct. I had to turn the uh, the um, joint about two full revolutions. On the other side, I did maybe one and a quarter. And 
Oh, sorry about that. Let's see where we are at now. So you could see that's just that 55 and a half in the front. And for the rear, they're about 55 and 5 eighths, but um, you could see that there's a little bit of a bow on the tape measure because of that heat shield uh, for the radiator. So uh, I think that's pretty dead on. I could also visually look straight down. Let's see if this thing will focus. Okay, here we go. So um, when I look visually down, I could see the front and the rear are about even. Before it was drastically noticeable that the wheel was like this. And when I do the same thing on the other side, um, pretty straight. Looks like it has a little bit of toe in. Um, but uh, the next step would be to actually drive it and see if the steering pulls in any direction. So if it pulls uh, to the left or to the right, you just have to make sure that you would adjust it accordingly. So um, that's about it on this for this guy. Um, so kind of uh, gonna get try to try to get back into the groove of. Uh, keep working on it uh, I bought some auxiliary lights uh, I also want to put a, a roll cage on it no well, not a roll cage but more like an exoskeleton kind of deal with a brush guard so um, I'll be pro posting some videos on that as well all right thank you for watching